Ooh, he just squeaked by there. I don't actually know whether I set my timer correctly, so uh, whoops. Anyway, greetings and salutations. I'm Ekamak. This is Let's Play Disgaea 4 Complete. In the last episode, we continued to ascend the tower that is the Information Bureau. And in this episode, we... well... I forgot to do the thing that I just started the voting for, darn it. My lord, your orders. So, we want to find somewhere that we've recently conquered. Uh, yeah, transmitting because it's connecting to the internet to tell people what I have, but... Uh, okay, somewhere recent, like episode 2 recent. The, di the idea is supposed to be actually that as you claim lands, you can place new units on them. I think it's Disguise Complete specific that, oh, that you start off with the whole map revealed. Like, we're at episode 3, aren't we? Okay, episode 4. I think this is it. Dispatch, evil symbol. We want to set up Rosen Queen Co. here. Now the advantage of this is that if we go back to base, we have a new shop. Welcome to the specialty shop. All products fresh from local sources. And it will give us the etc. equipment that you normally can't get. Based on where you've placed it in the proper world. Or in the campaign map. So we can get cross trainers here. And I've complained before about how we didn't have enough movement on the Valvatoris, so let's give him the cross trainers. And because yeah. Down, down, up, up. Okay, the episode properly, we're going to finish conquering the Corrupted and uh, Propaganda Tower. Oh, how could this have happened? It looks like we need to look over our security system again. Are you the chief? I'm bringing this bureau under our party's control. You should now obey me. Otherwise, we will use force. Chief, you recognize me, right? I'm the president's son, Death Amazel. I'm still alive! Can you retract the news of my death right away? Please? No. I'm sorry. What? See? Told you so. You don't have to act so surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. Don't be awful, Fuka. Right. We really should have taught him a lesson by inflicting trauma. Don't be awful, Disco. We printed the article about your death under orders of the Corruptimus. We can't retract it, even if you wish us to. Even if that person comes and asks? Can't believe this! Then... Can you tell my father that I'm here? Then he'll... The president was made aware of this situation quite a while ago. Huh? What do you mean? It's all Fenric's doing. I sent him the video footage of you cowardly running away and getting knocked out. Along with a note that read, if you want to keep this video of your pathetic son out of the public eye, stay out of my thoughts. That's blackmail! Oh my god! That's so nasty, you monster! We have established that, yes. It's a reasonable yet effective negotiation strategy. Bring the advantage to your side before the battle starts. It's a basic tactic. Then... Father knew I was alive! That's correct. He issued that article knowing that you were still alive. 
It's just like how a lizard discards its tail to evade danger. A father is pretty good. So, father discarded me? Don't let this bring you down. Big Sis and Desko are in the same boat. Yeah, kids don't need their parents to grow up. So, don't give up on yourself just yet. You were just picking on him. <laughs> it's, it's not like I was in complete denial about this earlier. There's no way that Father wouldn't know about a news article that was issued by the Corruptor Mint. But, but, I just didn't want to believe it. <laughs> to uphold the tenets of the Information Bureau, we can't allow someone who has been reported dead to run around. We have to protect our credibility at all costs. Sir Amizu, are you prepared? Prasco, you're not going to give up now, are you? Does your existence completely rely on your identity as the President's son, after all? But... Father discarded his only son! I guess he got tired of me. Since his death, I have yet to take a single human soul. Would you prefer to die? Die? Me? Right now? No! No, no way! Then fight! You died once, so fight back as if you were still dead! That sounded like you were making a righteous comment, but something's wrong. Fight? Against what? Your daddy, of course. We may have different goals, but we're all rebels from Hades who wish to take over the regime. Who else would we fight? You're telling me to fight the Corruptorment? My own father? The time has come for you to make a decision, Rascal. If you choose to die here, I won't stop you. If you choose to live and prove you exist, Come with me. Uh, I... 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 There's something very unique about Father Taurus as a protagonist. Like, his job is pretty instructive, no doubt. And... Uh, I don't know, I had a thought here, but the dramatic music suddenly distracted me. I'll teach you a lesson! Your back is wide open. Wind, of course. It seems like everyone knows about Lucinda because they're all packing wind weakness and wind resistances. We might as well dispatch Fenric to go move that box. I got this. I'll then Valvatoras may be here. Lure them a little closer. Uh, is it his role of printing his prophet isn't just a joke. He does pretty much it's He's very much a mental character, but also a protagonist and comic relief. Oh, of course you would stand here, why wouldn't you? But we do have Spectre.
And unfortunately, you're wind resistant, so I can't do anything about you. Wow, that's a very powerful. Mm. Right, because they're standing on attack up areas. Uh, Valvatoris, where'd you go? Resistant to all the elements, but uh, hmm. The Chief has a 52% evasion rate, really? bit out of the way so Spectre, we're probably going to need a combo attack here. Wait, what? Right, she does have a monster change weapon. I'm just confused at how it's so strong. Well, at least she's standing close enough I can give her some punishment. Ha! But there is only so much Evade can do, and apparently... That hit of 547 isn't enough. Oh, of course she can reach over there, why wouldn't she? If I could do something about this attack boost panel, it would make my life so much easier. Or if I had a magic boost skill of some sort, but the thing is, I don't think those characters actually become available for a very long time. Oh, of course you've moved.
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here I come. Athena can't get out of the way completely, but she can run for the uh, safer area. Here I come. I thank you. I want to get her one space closer so I can hit her with w Mega Wind, but... Mm. I don't know whether he can get survive all that, but we can certainly try. Yeah! You are just one space off, you rotten woman. One step over, can I hit her? Target height problem, of course. I'm gonna do it. And that barely scratches at all. And bait with a printy. Ready. <laughs> nope. No respect for friendly fire, you. I hate ninjas. It becomes a 50% are you going to be lucky or not? And frequently I'm not lucky. You can get the heck off here. Did he turn around? No, it's the evade panel, damn it.
we can't get her off here. So... This looks like a job for the Giga Heal. Ha! I thank you. Here I come. Let me think about this. Throw her this way. Watch this. Get out the big printy. Okay, thank you for finally getting out of my face. Let me think, is there anything else I can do? Not really. Wrong jerk. Mirror, run for it, please. I hate ninjas. I hated them in Fire Emblem Fates, and I hate them now. Well, I was slightly worried that when we get to the end of this, that we'd end this episode too soon. I'm not worried anymore. What a jerk! I don't know why guns always feel so powerful in the hands of my enemies but so pathetic in my hands, but it feels like that now, although it's also possible that it's just the rotten attack plus space that's doing it. But the fact that it's a ninja, so he gets 50% evade for just about everything, that has bites extra. Because it's a coin flip, it always feels rotten when you flip. It always feels bad when you flip that heads. Or rather, flip the tails. Where's Fenric? Brace yourself. Okay, Athena, undo that. We have a much bigger heal in need. 
There. He doesn't need it as much as Val needed for Giga Heal, but uh, yeah. Actually, maybe I should give the shoes to Fenric because I think his equipment... Yeah, his equipment... The knuckle weapons rely on speed, so getting his speed up is probably more important than getting Val's movement space up. You have a throw of five. Here I come. Yeah. No, not on top. Here I come. You know what? You guys can deal with all this random warping. Let's see how you like it. I thought so. Don't like it at all. And actually, wait. If we were to... Oh dear, I think everyone on my side is now going to take Geo Symbol damage actually. In fact, I think I might have just lost Athena. I'm just not used to how quickly it goes. Yep, the thing is dead. Alright, we gotta start moving everyone up because they aren't gonna get warped anymore. I'm so annoyed that it missed. Wait, is Fuka resistant or weak to ice? She's weak, so that was just... They really want to use ninja mages, but the thing is that they're not very good at it. Oh, I guess we just wind blast you. Disco, you're mostly unscratched, so you can rush ahead and do some damage. Not much damage, if we're honest. Yeah. What? 
was the only person who didn't get damaged by that Geo Symbol crash. Ah, uh, hmm. Maybe this will People are definitely gonna start going down now. I haven't touched Disgaea 6 since my Let's Try. I might just to uh, go record a whole bunch of Disgaea 6 episodes so I'll feel better, but apparently there's an autoplay function, and I really want to see what that's like, I just haven't had the chance to. Because it wasn't in the demo. Hey, there's no point in moving everyone else up, we just need Lucinda to win snipe that last person. It's gonna be really tricky to try and get Lucinda the rest of the magic spells though, because... It's, it, you don't learn them via the... Uh, mentorship in this game. I might also need to look into a way to get Athena a lot of level ups because she's a bit paper thin for my liking. The chief of the information bureau lost? I will never admit that fact. I control every bit of information. Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose. Is that your own personal form of denial? You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the netherworld! But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. I don't think she was ready to deal with someone like Falva Torres. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times. Uh, hundreds? Thousands? Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken. Over and over, forever! And keep in mind, you aren't going to have Geo symbols to cheat this time. He's just gonna beat you down fair and square, and that's gonna be a much harder fight for you to win. Oh, forever? Wow, how former tyrantly of you. I could really feel the weight of your threat. Yes, I learned a very valuable lesson. <laughs> Tyrant? And that power? By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatores? You got that right! That legendary Tyrant is still alive! And works as a printing instructor! Uh, uh, and what would such a Tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? Hmm. I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here. I will destroy you hundreds and thousands of times in order to correct a single typo. It's hilarious and awesome at the same time. Just how disguise should be. Please allow me to explain on his behalf. 
What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptment and its president crashing down, bring Hades to this world, and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm going to be the new president. Desco is going to be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? I never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah, that's right. I'm a complete failure. That is absolutely correct. Don't agree so readily with him. Good job! You got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. Screw you bastards. I'm never being self-introspective ever again if you're going to treat me like this. What are you? Monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Okay. Anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. But that's why I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. And Measle, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. From now on, I'm going to carve out a life of my own as Death of Measle. And that is my final answer. When I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of, that's when I'm gonna let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own merits, Rascal. Do you promise right here, right now? Remember how important that Valvatoris takes his promises. Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I... That's right. Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. Will you still make that promise? I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party, and fight to usurp the regime! In time, you'll be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, well, I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Death of Measle has officially become a member. Tyrant Valvatoras gained another comrade, and took another step towards completing his goal. Measle's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon, will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix, and will have a significant influence on the Netherworld education system. However, at this point in history, another surprising matter still awaits them. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Valvatores among their ranks, but now Sir Amizel too! I must report this to the President! Hold it right there! Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude! You again! 37,564 hell that drained into the Netherworld due to the Information Bureau neglecting its responsibilities. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Plus all other illegally obtained profit, I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 hell. Uh, dude. That's a precise number. You! That awkwardly placed dude. You're not a real pretty, are you? He would know, after all. 
You can't deceive an experienced, pretty instructor with that force. Reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. Hello. There's an angel inside that Prinny? Could she be the angel of avarice? That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me. How about Volcanus? Well, could you? What are you doing in the Netherworld? I, I, th I thought you died. Martina! Well, there's something to end an episode on. Except not. We're going to end on the next episode. We were episode met with a surprising segment. appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina. What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? But they do smell bad. They're like super fishy. Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off. Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? Next time, episode five, A Tyrant's Pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. All right, there's something to look into next time on Let's Play Disgaea 4 Complete. Until then, take care, guys. I'll see you all around.